where that you are, the person I once knew. I think it was TR-733. And you look vaguely like someone I used to know. CK-8. Small world. Nice world. You look better than ever. <laughs> no, before you sit down. Yeah? Don't I get kissed for old time's sake? But discreetly, of course, considering you uh, are a married man. Discreet enough? Positively Victorian. I couldn't <laughs> believe it when I heard that you were in town. You couldn't believe it. Now, how do you think I felt when I was told that you were married? You, of all the people. Yeah, well, it's a long story. Hmm. What are you doing here in Port Charles? <laughs> oh, just passing through. Come on, partner. I know you <laughs> that. Partner. How many times have we called each other that? And you're right, of course. I do have some business to take care of, too. I'd have bet on it. Come on, now, what's going down? I can't stop staring at you. You haven't changed a bit. You know, I almost forgot how handsome you are. There was a time in Hong Kong. Uh, it was one night. You swore you'd never forget. <laughs> uh, I haven't. And it was in Venice. In a very shaky gondola <laughs> on the Grand Canal. I remember... A night in Cairo, you had this uh, fetish for looking at the pyramids under moonlight. That was India, dear. And it wasn't the pyramids, it was the Taj Mahal. You've had some great times, love. And some rough ones. I was in Paris when I learned about O'Reilly. I'm sorry, you must have been absolutely devastated. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I lost the three people in this world that I cared for the most. O'Reilly. A pal of mine called Luke Spencer, his wife, Laura. Don't you love your own wife? Never mind. I don't think I want to hear the answer to that one. Hey, you haven't lost me, you know. Never will. There was a time in Istanbul. Uh, I came close. You uh, almost bought it from the KGB. Mm -hmm, but we outsmarted them. Yeah. Connie Atkin and her friend. Was that the name you used on that assignment? <laughs> Lord, how quickly they forget. And I was Connie Atkin, and you, you were Robert Skinner. <laughs> it's been fun, hasn't it? It's been a ball. Remember Marrakesh? Oh, vividly. And Capri. <laughs> uh, and Osaka. Uh, Amsterdam. Rio and Munich. It, it, ra <laughs> it rained. <laughs> Not on us, it didn't. No. Never on us. What are you doing here? You could always do that, couldn't you? Bring me down to earth at exactly the wrong moment. There was a time when I could also bring you right back up again, too. What makes you think that you can't now? Why, well, I'm here. <clears throat> I understand that you've got some great equipment. You always could flatter me. I'm talking about your computer. I understand it's tied in with the WSB, isn't it? You know it is. Mm. I, uh, I may want to use it. Feed information or search? Both. Chiefly, I'll be feeding it what I learn. Hmm. Here in Port Charles. You never tell me about it. Not just yet. But you are conducting some sort of investigation. Yeah, I am. But at this point, we're not certain what <clears throat> we're investigating. I'm sorry, but I can't be more explicit. Well, it's quite all right. I'm up to here as a police commissioner in this <laughs> borough. But I can call you. You know you can. Anytime I run a 24-hour service. I remember. Uh, Robbie, I'm sorry, but I have just got to say it. Do you mind? Have I ever? Say it. <laughs> you are the last person on earth that I ever would have expected to be married. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> 